Hello to everyone, I am in Durok, and today I'm playing Doom 3. So, anyway, I'm hoping that this game's not gonna be too much longer because I've already got like 108, around 180 gigabytes worth of like footage for my Doom 3 BFG review for Steam for my uh, other channel. This guy did not have a good time. Oh, how, how did you miss? Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. I, I was trying to push R. But it did not work. You want some? Hang on. Let me actually try my fist. Yeah, I find the chainsaw in this game to be much more fun to use than in Doom 1. Really? Mr. Dude. Oh, I did. Oh, I can't go that way. So I guess I have to go the other way then. Onwards, onwards. Onwards we go. Oh, goodies just for me. Goodies just for me. Oh, PDA. Who's does I got? Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Uh, today I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood, real fire and brimstone stuff. At first, I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. This guy chews up rocks and spits out gravel, as tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation, it's really freaked me out. I'm gonna put in for a transfer as soon as I'm able. Good idea. What? Oh, screw you! Yeah, but... Always like to spawn behind me, huh? Why? Hmm, Frank something or other. As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Baklava. Sinder stated October 15th, 2145. Martian buddy. I, uh, I don't know exactly where to begin. Obviously, I survived the first trip and feel no worse for the wear. I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me, but I'm at a point where I'm still seen this? trying to process everything. That locker. Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life, but, uh, the flames and heat and stench of the place. It smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. I wonder why. Tomorrow we're going back in with some of the eggheads, um, science division, to start securing forward positions and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. I feel I must admit on a personal note that I, I've, I've got a really, really bad feeling about this. I don't understand what we're doing there, or, or what we hope to prove. PFC Cinders, signing off. What is up with this chair? 
It's like hovering. Oh, look at that. Little goodies. So let us go. Hello. Where does he think he's going? There's a, there's a guy there. I'm going to go say hi to him. No! That poor Zabo. Oh, there's a guy. Let's say hi to him. Ah! Oh! Now I'm just being weird. All right. Hey, there's a dude in there. I wonder if he's alive. He might be. But he might want to not just be standing right where enemies could see him. Oh, wait. Nope, he was dead. I thought he was alive. I thought that's why he was facing that way. Man, I really do like the chainsaw in this game much better than than do one. Hmm. Which way should I go first? I'll go this way. Er, wait, server. Hit it. Like, where does it say to go? Server room. I, I, okay, I guess that means I do need to go there. Wow. I'm surprised at how how many zombies I've been seeing more than imps and uh, and all that now. In this video. Elevator doors. Not working. One fourteen, one fifteen. Okay, yep, that is indeed. I, I, okay, I thought I had to click on it to pick it up, but I guess not. Now enemies are going to start popping up here, aren't they? Apparently not. Nah, I don't think there was anything else here. Oh, poop. <laughs> okay. Oh, that, oh, that, that, the thing blocking the door was the thing that was the reason this wouldn't work. Okay. I'm, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, oh, I'm right back here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I couldn't go that way. <laughs> Seriously, this is a lot more fun to use. <laughs> okay. All right, flashlight. Uh, of course. Oh, what? Okay, I've forgotten what buttons I'm using here. He's still alive. I'm surprised. That will get the tele We're working again. And you don't have much time. You're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber and initiate the sequence on the machine. And I'll take care of the rest. I'm not going with you. Good luck. But before you go, I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. Uh, those things. It's all there. It'll explain everything. Get it to someone so this never happens again. 
Yeah, now where is that locker? Ah! Really? Oh, Frank. It's still in there, huh? I don't take this. I don't even need any of that. I'm too good at the game. I'm too good. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna take a look at that video. My name is Ian McCormick. I'm a research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. My primary job is, or rather was, to assist Dr. Malcolm Betruger in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out of here alive, so I'm recording this video log to let someone know what happened, and with that knowledge, prevent it from happening again. Initially, the teleportation experiments were amazing. We were creating a new science, and the prospects of it changing our way of life were, well, they were outstanding. I was proud to be associated with such an amazing project and someone as talented as Dr. Petruger. We noticed early on, well, probably before we had completed maybe a dozen successful tests, that there was a variable delay during the teleportation. The objects are broken down at the quantum level, transported, and then reassembled. Each stage of the process should have been instantaneous, but it, it wasn't, and we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images it sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back through showed what appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the probe. We had just found a living, breathing creature that was not human. But Truger immediately sent out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I... I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. I did not regret it at the time, but a few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. It seemed he was clinically insane. We started sending teams in, about once every two days. The teams were reporting nightmarish experiences, and sightings of things that ultimately made us conclude that the other dimension was not just another dimension. It was hell, and the creatures we were bringing back, demons. And then Betruger, he went through the portal himself. I, I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip, and he just went, and we couldn't stop him. And when he came back, he had changed. He sounded and looked the same, but he just... I, I don't know, he was, he was just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the soul cube, the device that was discovered in the ruins, into the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail, and, and then... Living hell erupted into the base. Oh, we were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Oh God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. Please, someone, never let this happen again. I'm sorry, Ian McCormick. Okay. Whoop. Don't worry, dude. I'm right here. Don't worry, dude. It's it was. It, it, you're not the evil one. It's Mr. Evil Man who's the evil man. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Decontamination. Okay. Fushki.
Union Aerospace. Oh. oh, it just brought me right here. Okay. Yeah, of course. Stop that. at the other side of that door. I think that might be. Yeah, that might be it. Really? <laughs> that I obviously need to get. I'm looking, okay. I just wanted to see if there was health around. Screw you guys. You are all a bunch of evil bots. I don't know how that turned into King Kong Central Park song, but whatever. Ah. Uh. Oh, no, no. storage area. Oh, there's a storage area right there. Alright. Doesn't even see me. Oh, he saw me. Let's do this. Uh, of course. Come on, stop being evil. <sighs> One oh three. This PDA might have that. No audio logs. Oh, locker coat. Oh yeah. Two five nine. Boop, boop, boop. Man. Show man. It's show man. I got shit. You just say hi. You just wanted to say hello. And why would these guys want to kill me? <laughs> Bye. Where did that guy come from? It anyway. Jeez. Ah, oh, he's 
scared the piss out of me. Hookie dookie. Mm -hmm. I do not like this. Sad I am. This game always gives me the creeps. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. What was that? What we be dealing with? I could have sworn I saw one of those guys with the tentacle arms. Quiet, you. Yeah, I'm gonna stop this video here. So, that's the end of this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.